Hello and welcome to the seventh video in this series programming this simple floppy robin game for Android using Cocos 2DX. So hopefully the last video I loaded up um, explained the installation of Windows and everything okay. And I think that was the last video or maybe the last one was the clouds. Can't remember anyway. Shouldn't be any unfamiliarity for Windows users seeing Xcode running on a Mac here. We're dealing in C++ whether it's under Xcode, Visual Studio or Eclipse or whatever. So if I run the application for the state that we're in at the moment, we've got our Robin and you'll notice that our Robin is, well, flying in an empty sky with no landscape there. The reason for this is, is because I've changed the background. The images are all be available for download, the new images anyway, including this one. And I've added into the resources a fence, a floor, a mountain or a half-baked Christmas pudding and a tree inside there. And in this video we're going to add these scrolling items on just like we did the cloud so that we can actually get around to making the proper part of the game. Now one slightly bad thing, well there are many bad things with the, the code in this because I'm trying to do this as sort of lean and mean as possible, is that this cloud class we're going to use this actually to add the trees, the mountains and the fences into the into the uh, game as well. So really it shouldn't be called a class cloud but we'll leave it like that for now and I might afterwards actually change the name and then you'll have the change name in the code for download, we'll see. One thing I want to do before that though, I was having a look through the code and I've realized I haven't actually put in the functions where I should const anywhere. So I'm just going to do that now. I've done that uh, inside the set speed and which width because obviously the values, the arguments going in a const and I like to do that usually where possible to prevent silly bugs because there'll be enough as it is I imagine. Also here the speed, the position, the scale, this by the way is in the hello world scene.h file and the z index obviously are all constants, uh, delta time no and then if I go inside hello world scene adding the cloud here. Again, we have constant position, scale and z-index. Okay, so next thing I want to do is go into the constants.h. Now we'll see here that we have our cloud restart x and we've used this to say that when a cloud's gone 100 pixels off the screen then restart 100 pixels away from the screen on the right hand side. Well, now that we're doing this for the mountains, that's obviously quite wide, we don't want this to happen else it disappears before it's fully left the screen. So we're going to do this in a slightly different way. So what I'm going to do is actually take away this definition here, and I'm going to make another definition and call it, instead of cloud restart, mount restart for mountain, and change this value to 300. The other thing I'm going to do now is add in some more speeds. I'm going to have a mountain speed, so a mount speed, except we don't need the fast. And I'm also going to have a tree speed in there as well, for the speed the trees goes. And what I'm going to do here is the fast clouds, I'm actually going to change this to take 14 seconds to move across the screen. I'm going to set the tree speed at 9 seconds, and the mountains will be the same as the, the tiny clouds, the distant clouds, at 28 seconds to move across the screen. Okay, the next thing that I want to look at is the Z indexes here because we need to add some more in. We need to add one in for obviously for the mountains and we want the mountains behind the floor. We'll set the mountain to 30. Now we'll make a, a Z index for the floor and we'll set the Z index for the floor to 40 and then we want the trees and the fences in front of the floor so they'll become 50 so we'll set a Z index for tree to 50 like so. So that's all of our uh, constants then set up correctly here and the do I need an, the other constant I wanted here I was thinking about the mountains now yes yeah, so I'll drop one in here and I'll put this k uh, mount scale and just leave that for now at 1.00 in case we actually want to change the size of the uh, the mountains in any kind of way. In fact I'm just looking at what I did in a little bit of preparation for this video and I actually used 0.8 so let's put that in now. Okay and in fact let's be thorough here I didn't do this in preparation but let's also put a tree scale in as well and we'll put the tree scale at 1.0. 
So a bit of preparation there, but it, essentially what we're doing is just extending things a little bit so we can use our cloud class to add all objects. And like I said, the name's a little bit misleading, but it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so now that's done, what I'd like to do first of all is go into the hello world scene.cpp. And the first thing we'll do is we'll just add the, the floor in because that's the simplest thing to do. And it's exactly the same code essentially as we have here. So we'll just copy these lines here, except that's not very neat. I don't like the gap in there. So I'll just take this line here, these three lines, copy them here. And now the first thing we do, obviously, is have the mount dash, uh, the floor, sorry, dash HD to add our sprite in. And we'll call this our floor uh, sprite. And now we want to set its position. But I'm going to set the position to 0 by 0 which obviously will set the center of the floor to the bottom left corner. But to avoid this, I'm going to set the floor sprite anchor point also to zero by zero. So it'll position its bottom left corner on the bottom left of the screen. Now it's exactly the same width as the screen. We've not gone into scaling or anything like that for different aspect ratios or resolutions that will come later. The position set and now we can add this floor sprite and we'll add it with our Z index for the floor, like so. So I'll just give the application a quick run and make sure that our floor has appeared OK and the build has failed for some reason. Let me just have a quick look. What have I missed? Ah, OK, yes, I forgot. We've got the cloud destination X inside here. Um, how do I deal with that temporarily just to show the floor? Let's just do uh, K minus K and we'll do cloud restart X and also we'll do minus cloud restart X like so and that should do. Let's try running again. We'll be changing this anyway in a minute. Okay, so we've got our Robin with the floor and the grass there now ready for some mountains or some trees. Okay, so now let's get to the part that I was just talking about. Because we're changing the way the restarts working we need actually to store this restart position in a variable and we'll call this variable an x offset and what we're actually going to do is take this x offset as an argument in here like so except we'll call it x offset like so which means obviously i need to go to the cloud.cpp and add that into the end here i'm sorry if i'm going a bit quickly but we've done all this for the clouds already so I want to set the X offset here equal to X offset. And now instead of using the destination and restart, I'll use the X offset value. So that means we can change that depending on obviously the size of the images that we're using, like so. So that should leave everything working exactly the same as it was. The only problem, of course, is that now this function will give us an error because we're using it in the Hello World uh, hello world scene.cpp. So let's go into the hello world scene.cpp then and it should already uh, be throwing us hopefully an error and it is indeed here. And now we want to specify the x offset. The thing is we need to send that in as an argument now into our add cloud function but I also want to send here the name of the PNG that we're going to use. So I'm going to do a const a uh, car and a pointer to the name and then I'll also send in a const float and the x offset like so. Of course that will give us an error in the header file for hello world scene so I'll just add those onto the end like so. Go back into the C file and here instead of cloud HD PNG we're going to change this to name and here now obviously we can send in the x offset like so and that's all working okay to add our cloud it has our x offset but now we've got the problem inside the create clouds part of the uh, the code here because obviously we're not giving the name and we're not giving the x offset so first of all for the clouds i'll just add the name in which was um cloud dash hd dot png at least i think it was I just check the resources yep 
like so. And the X offset obviously is K cloud restart X, like so. And I'm just going to copy and paste this. I mean, really to be completely correct, I should have also defined this as a, a constant as well so that I don't make any typing errors there, but it doesn't matter really for this application. And now save that, and now if I build that, that should hopefully build OK in this. I'm just checking whether I've forgotten everything, anything it has. I'm just going to run the application now, make sure our clouds are appearing. They seem to be, and if I set things off going, I just want to check that the uh, clouds keep reappearing and everything looks reasonably OK, and they seem to be going all right anyway. OK, good. So that's the clouds going and well and the code change and everything is as you were. So now what we want to do then is we want to look at adding the other items. So the first thing we'll add in then is the or are the mountains. So I'll just make a little bit of space here and this is now called mount-hd and I want now to add this at count at, at mount sorry restart x I want a K Z index for the mountain. I want a K uh, mount scale and I want a K mount speed. So that's the speed. And we're going to add two mountains into this. Like so. And the positions of them are going to be 300 by 170. And the other one's going to be at 800 by 170. And I'm just seeing if the scale's being set correctly. Yes, it is. I thought I hadn't set the scale properly. Good. Okay. So let's try running this now and see if we get a disaster or everything works okay. And now you can see we've got a couple of mountains on the screen. And now if I set going with the game playing, then our half baked Christmas puddings are now scrolling in the background along with the little clouds. So now that's done, the last thing to do is to add the fences and the trees. So I'll take one of these and just drop it in here. And now I want to add in, I'll add in, actually I'll just add in trees, I think. I was thinking about the fences earlier and they didn't really look very nice. So let's just leave it with the, the trees. And now here I want the cloud restart X because the trees are relatively small. And now I want the K Z index tree and the K tree scale, which should be 1.0, and we want the K tree speed, like so. And let's add three trees, like so, and the positions are all at 72 for a Y, and then the X's I chose for the start are 128, 624, and 864 which are arbitrary, bringing out my inner artist. So let's have another look at how things are looking now with the trees added in. And now you can see that it's a very simple application. There's not much gone into, obviously, the, the way the graphics look, but we're now playing a game with a robin that looks like it's flying along anyway, with some trees appearing on the floor as well. OK, then. So what I'll do now maybe I'll do now, I'm not too sure, um, is change the name of our cloud class because it's not really a cloud anymore. Oh no, I'll tell you what, I'll leave it actually so you don't get too confused with the with the download. But we're now actually in the position with the way the application is running to add into the application now some pipes that will come along from the right hand side now giving us little gaps that we need to try and get our little robin to fit through. So I hope that made some sense and everything's going okay so far and see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching.